77 right now in Denver. I doubt we'll be able to climb more than a couple more degrees around here. A few areas may hit 80, but still, compared to where we have been, <laughs> this feels pretty nice. We're looking out to the southwest right now, corner of Colfax and Federal in Denver. There's the new CDOT headquarters with that very bright orange color, that road cone orange they painted half of the building. Uh, for the season so far, we've seen just shy of three quarters of an inch of rain. That's going back to the first of June. That means we have a rainfall deficit this summer of more than two and a half inches as measured officially out at the airport. Many of us saw some rain yesterday, but at the airport they only had a trace, so that's what counts. So we do need this rain, so it's a good thing the chance is so high here this afternoon. Rain chances are just going to climb higher and higher as we go through time. It's one of those days where virtually every Everyone's going to get some rain. The question is, how much do you get in your neighborhood? And will it just be a few showers or perhaps a strong, even severe thunderstorm? Because we do have that possibility. Right now on CBS 4 radar, we're watching some lightning actually with the thunderstorms over in the higher foothills. This is really to the west of Boulder at this point. Also watching some rain up in northeast Colorado along I 76, mainly east of Fort Morgan, heading out toward Akron there on Highway 34. We have some rain, and you can see all this developing over in the foothills of Jefferson and Boulder and Larimer counties just in the last hour or so. This is a two hour loop here. And again, this is going to be the trend uh, as we go through the afternoon with more and more of us seeing rain as the shower activity spreads east from the high country. A flash flood watch has been issued through this evening. It does not include the Denver metro area, but down south, uh, uh, El Paso County in the Colorado Springs area, down through Pueblo County, all the way down toward Trinidad, and then all of the uh, southeastern counties of Colorado, including Prowers, all under that flash flood watch. We're concerned about the pace of these storms because they're going to be producing heavy rain. They're not going to be moving quickly. There could be some flash flooding down south. Here along the Front Range, we do not have that flash flood watch because we think the storms will be moving a little bit quicker here in metro. Denver compared to in southern Colorado. Here's 4 p.m. and you can see that by that point we've got widely scattered shower and thunderstorm activity from Colorado Springs all the way up to Cheyenne and for all of us in between. And then by 7 o'clock a lot of the activity will be out on the eastern plains and again some of these storms could grow to be strong or severe. In Denver we'll likely still have some rain in the area by 7 o'clock and as we get closer to 10 o'clock tonight a lot of that activity will be in southeast Colorado. But notice on our future cast here still painting a little green in the metro area indicating that chance for showers and thunderstorms well into the late evening hours. In terms of the severe weather threat, we're at a yellow. That's two, a slight risk on the severe weather scale. It would be damaging wind up to 60 miles per hour and quarter size hail. I don't think the hail would be able to get any larger than that. Temperature wise, again, another degree or two is all we'll be able to climb here today. Now, after tonight, the chance for rain goes away. Tomorrow, sunny, hot, and dry. It's one day of summer like weather again, and then we go back to something a little cooler on Wednesday, lower 80s. And from Wednesday through the upcoming weekend, Alan, we also put back the chance for a few late day showers and thunderstorms. But throughout that period, the chance for rain certainly not as high as it is today. And as we discussed, we have this rainfall deficit, drought conditions throughout much of Colorado. So let's hope we get a good soaker here. Still are up. Yeah. All right.